part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been characterized by the might power of the gun. We can't afford to have any more of that in our future. 85% of Ugandans are below 35 years. They are the future. And it's not only moral, but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future. Vote Chagulanyi Center Murobat as your president, 2021-2026. Vote the umbrella for a new Uganda. Our future is already indebted with over 56 trillion shillings that we are bound to pay in 94 years. Unfortunately, the biggest chunk of this has been embezzled by those who might... We no promote no violence. We condemn the violence. Rasta no promote no violence. Give me
Atinze nka wakulunga Akamba kebye nsie bimu kyo bia bunda Boba necho kiririza mochi imiri langa Tobo munga volikwe Hela botankula ngolta longa wesi zemi kwa no jomba nkusa site Meba mua wakujubisa atene bakula disa katino sano bege ndereze Atia mazima kamti magopo zina mwana wo Era muze yangambi, nadiri la famile yo mchana na banabo Manyinti manja baku wakira, but if you stand for the truth you better be ready to stand alone My son, if you stand for the truth you better be ready to stand alone Ayaka yaka yaka yao, bagala nyoku kenda mubulu na yete bagala kufa Bagala nyoku kakawala, na yete bagala kutuya na Bagala nyoku kenda mubulu na yete bagala kufa Bagala nyoku kakawala, na yete bagala kutuya na Expressing what's exactly on the people's mind. Wako ebi nyikiri chomula mwafe Na budi chitu mala kede media fe Uganda eta mula eta mavika Chitu seno kutweta mie kuangali ya fe Budi mba mutu fuga bubinyo na mwe Kalite tuka nye mwalwa na musiko Na ye kwa mwana kwe wasanga ngata na zari Wakati na ye ya zala ngata Chinu mchinga mbire muze ya ba mutu kako Saba neba ze iba neba mkambeko Hene songa cha mwenyo jale mete kokati e kwa Gadyo na lye nyami de bakambe ya linga demo kula se mamo buru kakati ya fuka na ipo kurise Bakambe ya lipanda meto chengi majizala wakati mujifu deno chengi Bakamba chesonge zabalwa nyakati mazibu kakona mwe mkola vile vya bali Baku sabanti constitution yawe doji kwa takoku mamwe musika desu vile yawe I say we are fighting for freedom Ambala mkoto mbale jinja We are fighting for freedom Kabale lukunjiri malala kaseze We are fighting for freedom Soro tichitukum aru walirakum We are fighting for freedom I say waki so masaka wende mijana We are fighting for freedom Yo! We are living in the time similar to the one of slave trade This operation The young body the moon see your queen Na fe haba kulwa nida kogwe no siri kira jodi o vero tu satase Jukira chinebwe bubera bumiunga waku nganye Ingo buji tu ala te inya No matter your age or no matter your sex No matter your religion, no matter your tribe Whether educated or uneducated It's a revelation for the generation Every this, whether you are doctor or a farmer Whether you are teacher or policeman Could I be a tax driver or a student Could I be a lawyer, could I be a soldier? We are fighting for freedom Pussy to give a boy, to move for a boy We are fighting for freedom Bana Uganda, Bali, Kuma, Wanga We are fighting for freedom Abola, Baboda, Boda, Namwe, Mwe, Bede, De, Mu We are fighting for freedom Yes, man! Like Martin Luther said In the end, we remember not the words of our enemies But the silence of our friends. This is a man. No child is born to die, and no mother should die, giving life. We need to come together to make a difference. Everyone has a right to not die. Why don't you save the little babies? Cause every... Now me 
Ogenda wali ya umunda ngeno leta wenja uro Kusubirani, agendo kuyambo musayi Kuno muto, kutabera te Je, 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 uyo chai Why we have to sleep and wake up in agony That's your inner device says they mess with biology So we let the strategy put it in the melody Make a discovery so you have to follow me Follow me, follow me, seven children generally 20, 50, 60, get to 70 Till to the infinity, cause we have ability Ability Jamie, me, tell me, don't say now we know the cheat to water for La racho mana sani mamangu na amfira wo Mufu na njizu wabwa fefe na no cheat to kakata ko Saving the children of the future today Back to the business, we need staff and equipment When it comes to health, y'all know my passion is endless Women walking miles hurt to find a place for childbirth We are all responsible, no matter how your mind works Too many kids dying, the worst to say Others may change this, but first is me I thought it couldn't get worse, but hey, 16 women died giving birth today. To run this semi sire, me don't call a kaputi. Never mind my kufa, never the kaba na kupoti. Then I was doing no kufa, you two are with supporti. Then we're back as you can, come on, pull and dip. I'm a mama fanga, bazala kulwati. You was a chimungwe, no gap me te kuyambe. Got the way you say, nangin say ye go. Let's come back the energy we save the future. Kula mumu mwa na mwe ya gaza. Kabani ne mama besi sa si sa. Kuli mwa kanga. Kampala, Debi Babi Zimbe, Gwebo 
Jesus Magira Awano Seba Giga Kampala Skibu Kachaba Dumbo Kampala Chiku Kachaba Nabungo Ewa Kuba Deka GF Kwa Badungo Tuwa Bana Bungo To Twitter Badungo Kampalo Boli Nuk Chakala Wabula Kampalo Boli Nuk Kiri Kanga Kampalo Boli Nuk Pedaka Wabulu Lolo Mo Boli Nuk Siri Kanga Kampalo Boli Nuk Kaluba Wabulu Lolo Mo Boli Nuk Gunda Gunda Kampala Toli Na Kwesi Kawa Bulu Lolo Mo Boli Nuk Kwesi Kako Banga Kampala Sichi Buka Chava Fala Boba Fala Ubude Yala Eno Kampala Tebi Babi Zimbe Kwe Bos Magira Ama No Seba Gika Kampala Sichi Buka Chava Fala Boba Fala Ubude Yala Eno Kampala Tebi Babi Zimbe Kwe Bos Magira Ama No Seba Gika Give me the sound beat made by Relax As could be them who power be gold That could be wine give them lyrics You know Kampala Chiboka Chanya So come on the Kati Yo Kendere Danya Kubo Yo Kuru Segere Kuri Bolo Ba Mo Ba Kuta De Kuru Jegere Ba Hitla Kaya Lo Be Danyo Mo Chibangere You know Stay O Sula Mo Kaya La Be Kati Kono De Mo Taf Na Be Rembe Na Kuba Te Ye Kuba Mo Pensi Ya Mo Lembe Mama Fina Te Ya Mo Ami Rembe Kati Bi Juri Ri De Pasta Bu Gembe Chichi Mo Ati O Ye Zero Kaka no ma kwenja ulo zero Site, demu ya le ten zero Hope sa jabu bo uli dembiro ante Kampala, si chibu ka jaba pala Boba pala, upunde yala Enu kampala, tebi babi zimbe kwe bos magira Ama no se bagika Kampala, si chibu ka jaba pala Boba pala, upunde yala Enu kampala, tebi babi zimbe kwe bos magira Ama no se bagika Kampala not be part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been characterized by the might power of the gun. We can't afford to have any more of that in our future. 85% of Ugandans are below 35 years. They are the future. And it's not only moral, but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future. Vote Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert as your president 2021-2026. Vote the umbrella for a new Uganda. Our future is already indebted with over 56 trillion shillings that we are bound to pay in 94 years. Unfortunately, the biggest chunk of this has been embezzled by those who might even not be part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been characterized by the might power of the gun. We can't afford to have any more of that in our future. 85% of Ugandans are below 35 years. They are the future. And it's not only moral, but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future. Vote Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert as your president 2021-2026. Vote the umbrella for a new Uganda. Our hey, Alama. Mama so go buri wenga la wansi ya si sunshine Endo uza kwe chibira baby nga you are mine Uba lulirwe na kusanga nga tuli mo dance Engu sabatu zine nguna we umunyi go squeeze Kapu ba chenga ka, ula nikanga ta chenga Baby manya muli choenda, lenchi kuwa kabu nonenda One day you say it is Ozi Kanya, another day you say it is Imuke One day you say you are Ondu Parang, another day you say you are Mayuke Anya Dwe Pingo, Itire Mo Junya, Oli Nanga Tai Dindi Mubede Nayenga Chalenga, Echana Chalenga Mama Singa Nalini Na Waka Ubu, Nandi Wade Nagini Hama Saku Bugambe Chalenga, Kantume Chalenga Basi Singa Nalini Na Waka Ubu Kwa 
Uganda. I come from the black, yellow, and red, symbolizing a beautiful nation, gifted by nature. already indebted with over 56 trillion shillings that we are bound to pay in 94 years. Unfortunately, the biggest chunk of this has been embezzled by those who might even not be part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been characterized by the might power of the gun. We can't afford to have any more of that in our future. 85% of Ugandans are below 35 years. They are the future. And it's not only moral, but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future. Vote Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert as your president 2021-2026. Vote the umbrella for a new Uganda. 
Our future is already indebted with over 56 trillion shillings that we are bound to pay in 94 years. Unfortunately, the biggest chunk of this has been embezzled by those who might even not be part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been... Fellow Ugandans, I greet you, those that are watching us from within the country and those in the diaspora. Allow me to wish you a happy new year, but most importantly, to welcome all of us from the year 2020. It was such a challenging year, and right now we can all say Alhamdulillah. We can thank the Almighty God for delivering us from a year a year that was full of challenges. It was in 2020 that we were attacked by the global pandemic of COVID-19. This is when our nation was locked down, which lockdown came with a lot of economic challenges to very many Ugandans. But again, this is when the Museveni regime used this opportunity to borrow a lot of money which money was not used to better our healthcare system, but the same money was used to continuously oppress our people. A big chunk of it was stolen, unfortunately. In this year, we have lost so many Ugandans. Many of them, we lost them to natural causes, and many of them died of unexplained deaths. We continue to remember outstanding deaths, like one of Sheikh Mozata, which up to now is a big question in the minds of all of us. I want to send my heartfelt condolences to all the people that have lost loved ones in the year 2020. Many state-sanctioned murders happened from the killing of Rita Nabokenya to Dani Cheyune to very many other Ugandans. But again, the world is still trying to come to terms with the November massacre where more than 100 innocent citizens of Uganda were killed on the orders of General Museveni. We also remember that many people like uh, Omar Abone, like Hussein Walugembe were killed. And in the very recent days, we just buried our comrade, Frank. Frank was murdered run over by a military police patrol car and as usual there was no report there was no explanation from those that killed him we've seen journalists attacked beaten and as we speak right now one of the journalists ashraf kasirie is recovering in hospital with a very deep cut that shattered his skull i'm happy to report to you that the doctors encouraged us the sheriff will be well, although it will take quite a long time. I was able to visit him and he's responding well, although he's not able to talk, but at least he opens his eyes, which we expected to happen in two weeks. By the grace of God, that has happened in just uh, over 48 hours. As I speak to you, ladies and gentlemen, more than 100 of our close working campaign team members are incarcerated. Some are still in Kalangala, some are at Masaka Central Police Station, while others, we are informed, are detained in Kasaja Girwa military barracks. Those that were able to access them have informed us that they have gone through grave torture. Some of them cannot even stand just yesterday, a group of medical doctors was seen at Masaka CPS trying to treat 
some of our members. These are people that did not have a single wound when they were arrested. And yes, I must say that comrades like Nubian Lee, Dan Magic, and Eddie Mutwe, nobody knows where they are. They were separated from the other detainees, and up to now, we don't know where they are. We only get um, reports that they've been gravely tortured. We continue to demand for their immediate release. But ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, disagreeing with General Museveni has become a death sentence. We condemn that in the strongest terms possible. This is what General Museveni has always claimed to have fought against. General Museveni has always called swine the regimes that came before him for abusing the rights of the citizens. Unfortunately, his regime that has become now a regime of blood and national shame is doing the same things or even worse. We have seen abductions of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, the days of Pandagari are back. More than 1,000 of our supporters have been kidnapped. Some are held in military incarceration, while others have disappeared and are not seen to death. We have learned that some have been charged in military court. Innocent citizens, they are charged in military court and they are remanded, while some of them are not seen at all. We have also seen a wave of attack on sports people, and in particular, the boxers. Some more than 20 days ago, a renowned professional boxer who is retired, Justin Juko, was arrested in Masaka. And it was until a few days ago that he was re, uh, released without any charges. Juko was held in military detention without any knowledge and without any access of his family, lawyers, or doctor. We are also aware that a one Joe Vegas Rubega, a champion boxer attached to the National Unity Platform, was arrested, and up to now, nobody knows where he is. We are also informed that Coach Chiza, uh, who, who runs a gym in Chisenyi at Social Center, was abducted by the military, and up to now, we have not known where he is. Ladies and gentlemen, as if that is not enough, all of you woke up to the brutal murder of a renowned boxer, Isaac Senyange, popularly known as Zebra Mando. Zebra was a personal friend to me, but he was a friend to so many people. Zebra was a boxer, and I trained with him uh, in the past days. Zebra was a strong supporter of the National Resistance Movement, the NRM. But Zebra was attacked by security personnel and was brutally murdered in his home in Waise. We all didn't believe because he was murdered in the same way as Abidiga was murdered, in the same way as Afande Chirumira was murdered, in the same way as Kawesa was murdered. Same style, execution style. It was until General Museveni came up on the 31st of December 2020 and indeed made it clear that Zebra was murdered by security. He went ahead to explain that security had gone to arrest Zebra and question him, but they ended up murdering him. What the world doesn't understand is how security goes to question a renowned supporter of the regime, murders him and leaves him where he was murdered. Nobody has been arrested in connection to the murder of Zebra. We only know that the president called the widow and sent a condolence money to the widow. This is the same thing that General Museveni has been doing, always being the first person to show up on the murder scenes of the people. But again, making sure that no report is made. As we all know, 
No report came out of the murder of Kawesa. No report came out of the murder of Kagezi. No report came out of the murder of Afande Chirumira. And we know that no report will come out of the murder of Zebra. Chino kancho gire ni Muruganda. Zebra ya temudua. Zebra ya limu kwano kwa ange. Nga boksa mune. Nga mvubuka mune. Nga geto youth mune. Era zebra ya limu wagizi nyo wa NRM. Na ye nga manyi nga mkwano gwe. Zebra we are saying by Okurabika, Mukatambika video, Yali, Ayogera na RCC, NDPC, Gababa Saburu Kusa, Okuja Okuba Bawagizibafe, no Bakolako Efujo. Chana kunyo, nti Abantu, Zebra Baba da Kodera. Kumanga Fena Tuchimani, Tia Baba and Tibaina Mukwanu. Baba Kozesa Bokozesa, Nate Sera Bichituka, Gatebacha Kuetaga, Nawe, Nebakutemula. Baba de Batemula, Abalala. Zebra, Yatemudua. Zebra, Yatemudua. Uxinzira could be gambo via Mutabaniwe. Ne could be gambo via Macharaway. Yatemudua, our city carry, Avaji de Motoka, and Zech catcher drone. A motoka is Zimu, the Muzemulaba, Nazu and Babantu, Naziba Quarter. Two Kiriturus and Zemotoka is Zemotoka is Zemotoka is our quarter Juko. The motoka is our quarter Joe Vega Survega. The motoka is our Wamba Coach Chiza. Wa social center mchisenyi paka katingata naba kulabika Zebula na atemurwa Tuwabade kishibu zemfa ya Zebula paka mwami museveni Weyavu deyo na kakasa tidara chitufu Aba sirikalewe beba atemude Zebula Hira ni ye tuunda ndiari sore Hira na agamba jikati Uye ye diza ufuna njiziwa wakuno nyeriza Kubatemu, abatemu de zebra. Nyinga fena tumanyi, tientemula ye muje batemu de mu zebra. Yentemula je batemula mu afande kawesa. Yentemula je batemula mu bawa mama fina. Yentemula je batemula mu muganda wa fabirika. Yentemula je batemula mu chirumira. Na era ukuwa kuwa mba atemula pako lualiru. Tewali report ya refurumie. Mami Museveni ya chikome zao. Ngabu hili nkola ye. Ndibata abana bafe na ene bale ita amabugo ebe nebiko mao. Hira ya weleza na muandu amabugo. Ngalinga mugamba dibao tuwa muse genda oguleyo zebra omulala. Echono chana kunyo tuchivu mirira. Na ene njagala chigende eri muena muena ba ghetto youth. Njagala chigende eri muena muena ba boksa. Njagala chigende eri muena muena ba na Uganda. Aba vubuka na dala mwewe bako ze saa. Okole viko lobero kubana mwe. Kubange no government ya Museveni, hiyo busuavu, tesoba la kuhimi lila wonga teko zeseza Na chiba gamba konti, nobody can keep you a slave without your permission. Yefetu bawa permission, nebako zesafe, nebako zesafe okumenya mayumba gaba andi, nebako zesafe okugoba abantu kutaka, nebako zesafe okutulugunya abantu, nebako zesafe okukuba, no kutemula, no kusirisa, abo, abageza ako atokuluwa nila edembeli abalala. Neolu vanyumaru abiona, Na fe, neba tuzikiza. Beba tuwe wa isa chiwana. Beba tuwe wa koza haba ntubo na vona. Ne mugana wa fe, zebra, tuwa mwisiza. Chitalo nyo, echa zebra. Na ye, nchikute kako mwami seven. You are responsible for the death of these young people. We cannot wait to live in a Uganda where life is precious. Where the lives of young people is taken seriously, is valued. Chitalo nyo, chitalo dala, echamu ganda wafe, zebra mando. It's on the same note that I want to mention that it is not only zebra that was murdered, but also a young man called Robert Mukasa, who was zebra's close friend. He was arrested by the same security on the day zebra was murdered. The following day, Robert was found in Bombo, dead and abandoned in a bush. Chana kunyo, tuwe wama zo kutemula zebra, nego ba mkutena ye, Robert, neba msanze atidua. President uwe guanga ye njini, ya vudeyo na kakasa, ti abantu abase zebra abamanyi. Neira chimanyi duwa ti abase zebra, beba kute ne Robert, kubanga na ye abade boksa. 
era nazuliwa ngafude so it is clear ntika obutemu buli official government is sanctioning obutemu ne bajja ne batemula omuntu echo ne chiko mao echo no chanaku that is what we are fighting to end i've already mentioned that so many people have been abducted many are rotting in jails while others are still missing and it is our pledge that the first thing that we'll do when we get into power is to free all the political prisoners all the prisoners of conscience that have been incarcerated by the Museveni regime and we know that that day is not far from where we are um ladies and gentlemen now that we have completed 2020 now that we've stepped strongly firmly and confidently into the year 2021 we can only praise the almighty god we can only say ebenezer thus far the lord has brought us in the new year 2021 we choose hope over fear we choose confidence over doubt ladies and gentlemen this is the year that we all have been waiting for this is 2021 we have been planning for this year we've been waiting for this year and now we are here like shakespeare said one time that let us remember and celebrate let us eat and drink to the general happiness of the company and our friends that have not made it but we are here we are in 2021 and we've always been saying mission 2021 this is the year to accomplish our mission we have 12 days from today 12 days but i would rather look at it from the point of view of 10 days of campaign 10 more days so we have 10 days to determine the future of our country we have 10 days to determine the fate of uganda we have 10 days of campaign and 12 days to a historical election it is this election where we are going to determine whether we shall remain slaves in our own country or whether we shall free up it is in this election where we are going to decide whether our lives are going to be precious and valuable or we are going to continue dying like useless creatures in our own country it is those 12 days ladies and gentlemen i want to make a clarion call to all the people of uganda i call upon you ladies and gentlemen to rise up and accomplish the mission that we have all been preaching i want to call upon you to turn out in large 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 numbers and vote i want to encourage all of you to dedicate these remaining 12 days to dedicate these days to the future of our country i've said it before ladies and gentlemen and i want to say it again that we are non-violent general Museveni has tried everything possible to project us as violent so that he can be able to respond to us with violence i say it one more time that we are non-violent we are just ugandans we are farmers we are border border riders we are nurses we are doctors we are teachers we are lawyers we are people of uganda that are determined to change the fate of their nation we are uganda we are the national unity platform we want to change our country and we are doing that peacefully so to the people of uganda turn up in big big numbers and vote that is the only solution we've called upon you in the past to register massively as voters and you did so we called upon you to open your eyes and you did so we called upon you to spread the message of freedom and you did so 
Now is the time to vote. This is no usual election. This is a revolutionary election. So let's come out in big numbers and vote. Bama Mabali Mukatari, Mikwano Jangaba Boda Boda, Abalini, Abantu Abali Mubiaro, Yona Yona Jemuli, Muve Yomurunde Mikwano Jange, Ate Murunde Mubunji, Ejo Yi Ansa Yoka Yoka, Akaluru Koke Kagendu Teke Dagala Maluadi, Akaluru Koke Kagendu Kukomia, Etemulino, Yimuba Demula Vidigena Maso, Akaluru Koke Kagendu Bulambo Buchusa, Buberiwa Chitiwa. Akaluluko kikagendo kusala wo obo soboro kwe yogerira oba to soboro kwe yogerira akaluluko sebo nyabo kikagendo kugure nzigi za makomera nezo zibalaxi je basi bide baganda ba feba no biandi ba edimutu nga tebai na musango akaluluko kikagendo kuwa edembe okwe agadira monsiyo kikagendo kuwa citizenship kikagendo kuwa edembe ri obuntu nawe oberengo omuntu it is your vote that is going to do that and please Tuba saba zine naku e kumi nebili e zisi gadeyo. Muziwe yo mikwano jange. Muziwe yo kuruensi ya mwe. Kera buli kumacha. Oweko gotu sako uvaka. Kera buli kumacha oteketeko muntu. Muve yo mwungi mulonde. Urunaku le kumi nenya. Lutu gendo kulonda. Teka teka mask yo. Teka teka national ID yo. Teka teka kakonge kwa Ofuwe olonde. Nabo abalwadde obaba tesubola mubayambe baveyo balonde it is on the 14th of january 2021 when we are going to change the fate of uganda we know that the regime is planning on a lot of things we know that the regime is planning to cut off the internet we know that the regime is planning to cut off mobile money services we know that they are planning to cut off electricity we know that they are even planning a lockdown. We know they are planning massive arrests, which they have already started doing. We know that they have already arranged um, factory centers in Mbuya Barracks and other military detention, military centers. We know that they have carried out and they continue to carry out massive arrests. So prepare for that. Tuchimanyi Burundi, the government of Museveni, take a chance. Kukaluru. Yesonga luachi, bali mkuyola abana, baze mpanda gari, tumanyi ntiba teka teka, kuruna koro, okusia ama jee. They intend to deploy the military everywhere to intimidate people, to stop people from voting. Bate kateka, okuleta ama jee, baga iwebuli wamu. Bate kateka, okutisa tisaba antu babale meso kuronda. Kupaba manji ba na Uganda ibaba yumu wonji ne baronda msevi ni akake kaba wakawedemu. Tumanyi ntiba teka teka. Oku leto bururu okubuyi wamu. Ngorede buli tikit. Bate kateko kusala ko internet. Bate kateko kusala kama sanyarazi. Mubitundu ilisingo bunje biyamu Uganda. Bate kateko kusala ko mobile money. Tumanyi ntiba teka teka no kola lockdown. Nyesonga luachi tuba saba mwe teke teke. Bebe na mubirenga mubimanyi. Bagenda kukusala magezo kwa taba ntubanji nyo. Ba agenti ba fe. Bagenda kufubo kulaba angababa yola. Bafuba nyo kulaba angabuli mtu wa neto lode. Obabuli mwagizu wa NUP. Obabuli mkulembeze wa NUP. Ngabamu kwa ta. Nebamu siba. Njagade nyo. Bana Uganda. Mubitegeri. Manyi inti ba teka teka. Bata itegese na da in fact. Tali center. Emu. Bajita dembu ya. Endala tuina information. Bajita dena kasongola. Na ene mbitundu ebirala. Jibagala, okugatira gatiri omugate, ogwa, omufu, ogwa kulonda. But I want to encourage, to encourage all of you, one, turn out in large numbers and vote. And after that, please keep a safe distance, but continue watching the proceedings. Don't go back home. Let us dedicate the 14th of January to our nation. Everything that we are encouraging you to do is legal, it is constitutional, and nothing is criminal. We also know that the Electoral Commission intends to delay voting materials in some areas, particularly in Kampala, in Wakiso, in Mukono, and in areas of Masaka. 
we also know that they are intending to announce results very late. We want to appeal to you, Mr. Biabakama and the Electoral Commission, and at the same time warn you that the people of Uganda are not going to accept that. You've done that in the past, but you're dealing with a totally different generation. So, the more you really disrespect the people of Uganda, the more you will be accountable for any result of a bad election. It is in your best interest and in the interest of the people of Uganda that you respect their voices. Tumanyi, timuami biaba kamanaka chiko kebi okulonda, bate kateka okulu isayo ebiro onde sebo ebi, ebiko sebo amukulonda, mubitundu ebimu, nga mukampala munomu inyini, nge wachiso, nge mukono, nge masaka, ne walala. Na hitu agala mwami biaba kama, naka chiko kebi okulonda, obaku biru umulanga, no balabula, Ndiwa na Uganda tewa genda kukiriza mkole yu, e yu mwenye wa mateka. Musiri se, ngaba kole yu hatu kola kebi kolo vero, tumanyi niti mwambi yaba kama, toli mitambo, jaka lulukano. Na inja galo kuwa magezi, oleme kuwera na mpulira zibi, oleme kuwera nge nsuera jebo gira ko murugero, yuko veri romulambo paka montana. Now to Mr. Museven. Jeno Museven. Wakati mkuwe chitibwa. Tuze tu gamba. Ne kumunu ndigunu tu gamba. Titetu inache tu kusaba. We are not asking for anything from you, Jeno Museven. All we are saying is keep your word. Keep your word. In Africa, they teach us that a man is noble if he's a man of his word. What we're saying is keep your word. Respect the words that you said when you are a young man. You called Obote and Amin swines for disrespecting the rights of the people of Uganda. You are abusing the rights of Ugandans much worse than the previous regimes. Respect your word. We are not violent. We are not up for violence. But again, we are not going to be silent in the face of oppression. We have said it before and we are saying it again. We are not your slaves. We are the people of Uganda. We are the young people whose future you have robbed away from us, whose parents have died because of your misrule, whose brothers and sisters you are continuing to kill, whose parents lost it all whose future has gone and we are trying to reinvent it. Be a man of your word. Genome 70, you cannot kill all of us. You cannot. It is unfortunate, very unfortunate, to see that once a prized revolutionary, you have decided to bury your legacy in Mark. But again, if that's what you have chosen, that is your decision. However, I tell you today, like I've told you in the past, that you either respect the voice of the people of Uganda, or you will end up like all the other despots have ended up. Oppressed people cannot remain oppressed forever. And for as long as I still have the breath in my body, I will open my mouth and tell you the truth. After all, you go to Gamma and politics is about Kulaba Mukama. So, to Jabi Kugamba Muzei, Ngabe Vidi, to Kuanye Chi Wamukade Wafe, Nemunange, Tetuliba Dubo, Tulibana Uganda, Twins Okubera Boda Boda, Twins Okubera Comedian, Twins Okubera Balimi, Twins Okubera Sisiba Chapati, Nayeno Uganda Nafe to Jina Komugabo, Ngagwe, Naba Nabo. Eno Uganda Nafe in Sea Afe. Wano iba tuzali de. Hela nebo ono tuta, wano iba gendo tuzika. Tuwa gala nyoku vera mwuse ye ya gaza. Ngabili umawa wamo nechitibwa. Nga fe, naba nabo. Tuli mwusi ngabili umawa sanyukira mwune. So tewali insonga. 
Lwachi obero tuisa nga ba second class citizens. Te tuliba second class citizens sa. Tuliba na Uganda. And I hope that message is received by you with an open heart. We respect you, but we would rather you respect yourself as well. Now, to the people of Uganda, we've told you before, we tell you again, that be non-violent, be peaceful, but be assertive. I say it again, be non-violent, be peaceful, but be assertive. Your right is your right, and nobody can and should take away that right from you. Please use your smartphone. Use your smartphone. That smartphone is a very powerful weapon. We've moved the entire country from the north to the south and central, from the west to the east. We've been confronted with soldiers and police officers armed to the tooth. But we've noticed they fear one thing, that is the camera. So we are calling upon you to use your smartphone, use your camera as much as possible. Go live whenever you can. Expose, expose, expose. As much as you can expose. I want to also ask you, on the day of elections, the 14th of January 2021, please make sure you record the proceedings. But most importantly, that particular time when the returning officer is announcing the result, make sure you capture that. Make sure you capture that particular moment. I know that we are very many Ugandans. And I know that we can do that as a nation, as a population. All we want is clarity. So make sure you capture that. Kozesa kamera yu mkwano gwangi. Kamera chakuluwa nyisa chamanyi nyo 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 nyo. Tuwe tulode gwanga liyonari yona. Ngabatu lumba gana ba ine biyokuluwa nyisa biyabri kala. Na ito azude ntibati echi ntuchimu batia kamera. Nolwe nsonge yonjaga luku saba okose kamera yu. Genda live o recording ebi gena maso vya nabiyo na. Ola bise ngabo sobola na yechi kule nyenyu njaga lo kusaba ndi recording nga ako kapati presiding officer walangiri le bivude mukulonda ndi olwalero bantu balonze bweba ati gundi afunye bululu webuti no na afunye bwebuti no na afunye bwebuti awo wenjaga lo kusaba o recordinge abate sobola ku recordinga mukozese audio those that don't have cameras Please use audio, record as audio, but make sure you record it. But no recording a um, clip for you. Tuja kubawa inamba kwa mugendo kubanga musindika yemba mu recording I also want to use this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to announce that for the last few months, we have been building an application, an application that is going to help us tally our election, to tally our results. That application is called Dido. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll say this again. I want to take this opportunity to announce to the nation and to the world that for the last few months we have been building an application, an application that will help us bring together the results of this election. That application is called You Vote, and you will be able to access it from Google Play Store in the next few hours. Um, this application will help us ensure that we tighten every news that the dictatorship was trying to use.
to rig our vote kancho gere mu Luganda kanko so mukisago no kulangirira ere gwanga nensi yonna tokumala emyezi ngajijo tubadde tuzimba app oba application ene tuyamba okunganya no kubala akalulu kafe eyo application bajita you vote era egenda kubera available ku Google Play Store musawa ezidako embale but of now as of now we shall be sending it to you by WhatsApp and we will ask you to share it with that application you ensure that you get the declaration form and send it to that app you take a picture of the DR form and send it to that app that can be done by our agents but it can also be done by any citizen because this is not only about agents this is about all the people of Uganda and I want to invite all the people of Uganda to kindly be part of this because this is going to be historical um your app again I could be available a river agent of a fee that era jacobera available a river now you're going to go now so what did you cause this kubanga to get a cook salam against you gonna okula and get you about the planning of kubama kaluru cafe to ziba bridge to the finally I want to warn all the people that Museveni intends to use to brutalize our people, to kill our people, and to stay for the voice of the people of Uganda. Brothers and sisters in the armed forces, brothers and sisters in police, all brothers and sisters in uniform and in security agencies, I want to remind you that the majority of you are young people. Choose the side of the people of Uganda and not the, not the side of an aging dictator who is clearly on his way out. You have read from history, from the past history and even the recent history. There is no reason why you would abuse your oath. You were not trained to kill Ugandans. You were not trained to brutalize people. You were trained to keep law and order. You were trained to keep the citizens of your country safe. So it is upon you to make this historical decision because this is about yourself, this is about your future, this is about your children's future, and it's about the future of your children's children. We all can live in a good country, in a Uganda where soldiers are loved by citizens where police officers are respected by citizens where police officers are not ordered to kill or brutalize citizens against their will we can do that ladies and gentlemen so i appeal to all of us to use our conscience i want to appeal to you not to be robots be human beings you are citizens you are men and women of honor you wear our national badge and our national flag with honor. You deserve dignity. You don't deserve shame. I want to thank all of you for listening to me. And I want to request you to spread this message far and wide. Thank you very much for God and my country. And I wish you a very happy new year 2021. Thank you characterized by the might power of the gun we can't afford to have any more of that in our future 85 percent of ugandans are below 35 years they are the future and it's not only moral but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future vote chagulanyi center murobat as your president 2021 2026 vote the umbrella for a new uganda our future is already indebted with over 56 trillion shillings that we are bound to pay in 94 years. Unfortunately, the biggest chunk of this has been embezzled by those who might even not be part of the future. Uganda is ranked among the worst African countries with a high mortality rate. The rate of mothers dying while giving birth is terrible. 68% of Ugandans are very poor and outside the money economy. They can hardly afford a single meal a day. Our past and our present has all been characterized by the might power of the gun. 
We can't afford to have any more of that in our future. 85% of Ugandans are below 35 years. They are the future. And it's not only moral, but a responsibility for this generation to secure our own future. Vote Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert as your president 2021-2026. Vote the umbrella for a new Uganda. Our Sibe mtia nwa nafa watu uliriza Gano gema ulira agesa weno Umisomize Dr. Nero inchi mukaga Prince Nero sikayondo Banansi babadeva chari kugwa masanyala za ukuli nyebi tundu chenda muenda kuchikumi guja wagide Omunafu azade karira endiga ewala mpye nyumba Minister weba mkute novu kade chikumi muata no wensi mbi Sunga ni mudua lile kuru teri dagala Gaga numbujuvu Freedom comes to those who fight, but not to those who cry. Because the more you cry, is the more your people continue to die. So rise, defend your rights. Yaga, 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 yaga. I don't know why the corruption is too much. Why the price of electricity is too high? Why the price of education is too high? And you see the tribalism is too much. I don't know why the corruption is too much. Why the price of
We no promote no violence. We condemn the violence. Rasta no promote no violence. Give me all.